What's happening YouTube? Hope you're all good. 42 Gaming here. Got some more God of War for you. And I wanted to talk about the importance of enchantment sockets. What they are, how they can help, and where to find them. Now enchantments, uh, for those of you that don't know, are bonuses that can be added to Kratos' equipment. Now, they all provide a small boost to select stats, but many also give some kind of bonus, such as a burst of health or strength at a specified activation point. Now these enchantments are then slotted into your equipment via enchantment sockets. Now much of the armor that you find, earn or buy features enchantment sockets. But the most basic piece, pieces don't actually start out with anything. But anything upgraded to level 3 or is above common rarity will have at least one socket. Now, better sets actually possess three sockets once fully upgraded, and a couple of talismans also have enchantment sockets. So, if we go into uh, the sockets that I found, sorry, sockets, the enchantments that I found so far, we can see there's quite a few of them and a fair bit of grinding. But um, they're split by rarity, so you've got your gold epic ones here and then your purple legendary ones followed by your rare blue ones and i've got one i believe yeah one green common so if we go back up to the top you know it seems to me like there's uh two sort of flavors or types in a sense you know uh, drop types of enchantments um one are this set enchantments that are found at set locations throughout the game world they could be in a particular chest or given after a uh, quest reward for example so if we go down to there's one here Anvari's soul now this is given as a reward for doing one of Brock's side quests and the other type of enchantment is randomly generated enchantments now they're ones like these perfect symbol of something perfect eye flawless relic perfect aspect here now these all will feature a randomly chosen stat boost paired with a random perk so this one for example it's a level 7 has 13 strength and raging fury perk and you can see as I scroll down we've got another Raging Fury here exactly the same and another strength stat allocation to it but that could, could so easily be defense 13 on another occasion so those are the two types of uh, well flavors types of enchantments and you can see how these can actually help because not only do they facilitate, complement, supplement your playstyle, some of these can actually give you an edge. Now, while I believe this is still very much a player-driven game with a fairly decent skill ceiling, and particularly on the two harder difficulties, I don't believe gear alone can carry you. You know, you've got, you've got to put in some work as well. Uh, but having said that, some of these perks can make a difference like for example any of these fire frost mastery perks or supremacy perks will increase the amount of uh, burn or frost damage you do which can always help but then you've got functional changes as well for example this one here speedy evasion gain a burst of speed and travel an increased distance when evading now I believe that also extends your iframes by by a little bit as well on that dodge so that changes the fundamentals uh, once you're in combat so it's not, not just stat boosts you are looking about uh, talking about mechanical changes as well this one momentum mastery will increase the rate you gain permafrost or emulation so again makes a difference can give you an edge but i must repeat it will not carry you you can fine-tune your build with these enchantments uh, and really give 
that extra bit of oomph for Kratos, but it's up to you. You've got to make it happen uh, in combat. But it's some really cool combinations that you can put together. Uh, and you could even stack so many different types of defenses together that everything ends up doing chip damage to you, for example. You know, regardless of the difficulty, I mean, I'm still on, obviously, give me God of War difficulty. And, you know, some of these things, if you stack really, really high, you can sort of get away with the extra few hits here and there. Um, you still go down, <laughs> but uh, you can last a little longer. Um, or you can change functionality with the um, evasion perk, for example. Uh, but there's many, many others. There's one for speed, blessing of swiftness, slightly increased max sprinting speed. And that's paid with defense, so that's, that's a nice bonus. Stun mastery. Uh, I've got two here, one, one uh, with luck, one with de uh, defense. I think I've got one more as well, but you get the idea. So very handy in complementing and supplementing your builds and your playstyle. So lastly, where do you find all this good stuff? Now, the, like I was saying a bit earlier, the set enchantments are found in the set locations, regardless of your playthrough. But the randomly generated ones are found two places I've seen so far. Musfelheim and Niflheim. Now, in Musfelheim, any of the uh, enemies in the arena trials will have a chance to drop an epic enchantment. But I believe the chance might be a tad bit higher on the tougher enemy types. You're also guaranteed one from one of the reward chests after completing Sutra's hidden trials. And of course, they can be farmed over and over and over again for you to build up your collection. I mean, a lot of these perfect and flawless ones, I'm going through the list at the moment here, are drops from the chest or what I found in the chest after uh, doing Sutra's Hidden Trials. Now in Niflheim, uh, similarly, any enemy in the entire maze will have a chance at dropping epic enchantments, but the chance seems to be a little higher in the mini boss rooms. So you know you've got the optional rooms that are in the corner. I've got an upcoming video actually where I uh, go through a typical walkthrough run in Niflheim, so that sort of goes through in a bit more detail. But they're in the optional areas where you usually find the mini-bosses. And it's, I, I believe it's the mini-bosses themselves actually end up uh, uh, dropping the really tasty uh, epic enchantments. So, that's the importance of enchantments. Don't neglect them, do use them, um, supplement, complement your builds, and you'll find some of this stuff um, really, really nice and really handy. Uh, but it all depends on your playstyle. Cool. Right, I'm done for now. Um, hopefully this video was informative. Hopefully you enjoyed it. Um, thanks for watching. I'll catch you guys later.